Jesus said, Man cannot live on bread alone, but from every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. You're listening to Daily Truth. We have a general promise that Christ will build his church, that is, grow, expand, increase his church, not merely sustain it. Christ is not merely sustaining his bride as a man would sustain his family. But if a man is building his family, we would assume that he is adding to its ranks. Not just sustaining it, but that he is building his house. To build is to expand and increase. And the promise in Matthew 16 that Christ gives is that because he is the head of the church and the church is his body, his body here on earth, his hands and feet, Christ will not only protect and defend and sustain his body on earth, his church, but actually expand and increase and build it. Of the, of the increase of his government, there will be no end. Not just the, the once cataclysmically, suddenly establishment of a universal government. Not, not that there is no government, and then one day, boom, here it is and it's all done. Increase implies progressive, gradual, not cataclysmic, but rather progressive and gradual through a process over time. And so we have general promises from the Lord, not only that he will sustain his church, but that he will progressively expand and build his church. And I know that you've heard me say this many times. But by God's grace, there are new people who come to our church every week who may not be aware of this. But Matthew 16 says that as Christ promises to build the church, the gates of hell will not prevail against it. Now notice, the gates of hell are defensive, not offensive. This is not weaponry. But rather, the gates of hell signify the defense of hell. So what is the offensive weapon in this particular equation given to us by Christ Jesus himself? The weapon is not hell. The weapon is the church. That the church would increase and be built and that the defensive measures of hell will not ultimately be able to withstand the battering ram of the church. 